I just came home from my 14 hour shift at work today. It was very busy. It's like nearly nine in the morning and I went to work at six o'clock. Yeah, it was a very busy shift last night. I had a lot to do, but that's not what you guys are here for. You're here to see probably the title of the video or you're probably just here to see me, which I appreciate you guys are here to see me. But um, yeah, Anime Chanting Simulator has updated. I've been AFKing the game for quite a while and I kind of just want to see what I've been able to get. There was a two times luck event going on during the weekend, so I'm hoping that I got a lot of good stuff. I've opened up one capsule during this weekend, um, but other than that, everything else that's in my inventory is new. So uh, I'm gonna check it out for the first time with you guys. If you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, and let's get into the intro now. Alrighty, we're here in ACS. Yes, I am the one and only over 9,000 power Super Saiyan Lunky. Uh, there's a couple codes, you guys. Yesterday or a few days ago, the update came out and you got yourself the new code update one. So make sure you guys use code update one if you have not already. So update one, that's gonna give you guys some pots. Like I think it's gonna give you a coin boost and like a damage boost or something like that. And then there is another code for 100 thousand players celebrate a hundred thousand players gonna be one hundred thousand yes a hundred thousand people were playing the game all at the same time thank you for supporting us in our journey we couldn't ask for better fans also the luck event is ending is an act for 48 hours so yeah i've been in the game afk for 48 hours and we're gonna see what we get we got 5,000 gems for that code, and we got a few boost potions. I think we got another damage potion. I think we got one of each potion, actually. So, yeah, make sure you guys use those codes. Now, before I show you guys what I got, let me know what your best unit is currently in the game and what you want to get from the game. But, uh, yeah, the new JJK update was here. It's pretty cool. I finished all the quests. If you guys did not know, there's a few things that you have to do to finish the quests. Um, one of the quests from Kilni or uh, Negoni's name here, one of his quests is to go here to Cursed City, right? And in Cursed City, you actually have to find like a cursed finger. And I saw that a lot of people were struggling with this, right? Really, it's very simple. You're gonna go all the way back here. Look at, is this not the funniest like animation you've ever seen? I'm literally a Super Saiyan monkey riding one of Negoni's like puppets or shadows. But yeah, you go all the way back here to the school. This is the hardest part about finding this cursed finger quest, right? So you go back here and you're like, oh gosh, there's so many ways to go. So you go through the hole, up through the back right here, ignore the skin reforge zone, run to the back again, run behind here. It's very confusing guys. Ignore this open hole and then run back here. You get this right here. This is like the Gaku, I think, um, for school. I believe, or this might be student actually, I don't remember, Gakusei, this is Gaku, I think, this is cool. Um, and then in this area, oh gosh, don't be like me and die, you'll find these guys, but right there, you'll find this guy right here, the Cursed Finger, you're gonna come to him, and you're gonna turn your auto attack on, and just keep attacking him, or your auto clicker, and then what I'd like to do is I like to just AFK open this egg here, that way I'm multitasking and not just only attacking, right? But the two times event is over, it's time. Let's check out what I have in my inventory after opening for 48 hours of 80 luck is what I was at. All right, we got 39 Cursed Fingers, which I haven't even bothered. I have 60 Cosmic Essence because I had a lot of the monkeys that I was farming from World 1. And now the moment of truth, the moment that I'm actually kind of scared of, how many capsules did I get from this world? And we got ourselves Okay, we got a ton of Zenitsu skins, which I already had. I'll show you guys how to get those in a little bit. But uh, the, the new uh, skins that I got here, specifically Sukuna's, 20% XP needed decrease. That's OP. But we got ourselves, oh, we also got this right here, Cosmic, a uh, Cosmic skin. Yes, and it gives me 50% boss damage. But there it is. We got ourselves six Cursed Summon Capsule Cosmic units from opening with the update, with a lot of luck. So I think it's time, without further ado, that we go to the first world and we open those cosmic capsules for you guys to see what I get. Hopefully I get a godly Gojo. 
But um, I've actually opened up a ton of cosmics. You guys see I have a ton of the essence already. This is uh, 12 units that I fused. So 12 monkeys, not a single one of them were godly, but maybe one of these six will be a godly Gojo. That would be really, really cool for my team. That would make me super duper strong. Come on, game. I know you want to give me a godly cosmic. All right, doesn't look like this one's going to be a godly unit, which is fine, but as long as it's a Gojo, I won't be super mad. Apparently, like, the animation looks different. Oh, it's a Gojo! Yes! Okay, cool. I actually really needed that, but it's just a regular cosmic Gojo. Let's open up the next one. Maybe we'll get a godly Gojo. Godly Genshiro, please. Apparently, this right here, there's a ton of stars that show up on the screen whenever you do get a godly, but it doesn't look like we got another one again, which is, which is fine. What do we get? We got another Gojo! Okay, that's fine. That's good, at least we're getting Gojo. We got four more capsules. Hit the like button, give me extra luck, and give yourself some luck too. Let's get this, the godly cosmic Gojo. Please, game. Please give me my first godly cosmic. Uh, doesn't look like we're getting anything. You see, like, the sky apparently lights up with all these, like, stars or whatever whenever you're gonna get a godly unit. We got another Gojo! Okay, that's a good sign. Keep giving me Gojos, that is fine. Just get, make sure you give me a godly one. We're halfway through, we got three more to go game. Dyra, if you love me, give me a godly. Alright, Dyra doesn't love me. That's understandable. I ex expected, expected. Dyra doesn't love me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, we got a Giyu this time. Yeah, so that's what kind of sucks. It's that there's like a 32% chance to get the new unit, but you can also get the old units as well. Two more capsules to go. Let's get it. Godly, please. And then, and then I'll go for a black hole unit or black orb. Look, somebody got a godly Genshiro. Why isn't that me? Ah, it doesn't look like we got it again. Game, please. Oh, we got another Genshiro. Why couldn't I have been the godly Genshiro? All right, last capsule. Better pizza, better ingredients, Papa Russo kind of luck. Let's go. Please, 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 please. I'm only asking for the best unit in the game currently. Ah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get it, which is fine. I wasn't expecting to get it, to be honest with you guys. But I will be AFKing that egg even further here, trying to get myself another uh, Kench, uh, another uh, Genshiro unit or whatever you want to call him, Gojo. But there we go. We got ourselves a Jotaro, a Giyu, and four of these Genshiros. Now, I have an SSS stat on his damage. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to ascend him to Ascended 2, and he's just going to be part of my team. He won't be, like, the strongest on my team. Or he will be the strongest on my team. I just got to get a better passive for him, you know? So let's go ahead and do that. Since since we're here, let's just go ahead and ascend them. Let's make this video even more interesting. So go here. Once you get enough copies of your unit, you go here to this Essence Machine, and you sacrifice them. So, like, I'll sacrifice this. Do I have extra of them? Actually, I'm going to sacrifice this uh, red ski. Sacrifice, you see I get five of these essence. Once I get five, I can go to Ascended 1, which let's make sure I don't have a better one. Uh, okay, yeah, so select this guy, and then I sacrifice a Genshiro, right? And 10 of those Cosmic things. So in order to Cosmic your units, you're going to need a lot of Cosmic units. So you got to AFK the game a lot. As you guys can tell, I've been AFK the game a lot, and look, I have... Uh, 215 hours in the game. I'm almost halfway towards the 500 hour achievement, which is pretty great. But let's go ahead and ascend to make him the strongest unit in my team. Select, I gotta sacrifice two more Genshiro units, and there it is. It's gonna cost us 50 essence, which sucks, but uh, let's go. Three, two, one, and there it is. Genshiro Cosmic Double Ascended with the little bat thing above his head. And now let's take a look at him. Boom, let's just unequip all of them. And here he is right there doing 3.1 million damage. Oh yeah, okay. His bandana looks a little wonky, I'm not gonna lie. But I do like the aura and I do like the eye. It, like, it's, 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 you know, it's Gojo, it's Gojo's face. He's super cool. Now I know his a godly version looks insanely cool uh, compared to this, but here, let me just go ahead and transform into him so you guys see. Oh yeah, look at look at that. That's me. It's me. Hi, it's me, Mario. Woohoo! All right, 
We got ourselves a pretty decent roll on our Genshiro, but I do wanna try to reroll that ability damage to something better than a C. So what I'm gonna do is go over here to our Pirate Town. If you guys have not already seen my video on this, I showed you how to find decently easy spirits. But I'm gonna spend a quick little like five minutes searching for some spirits here, trying to get some rerolls so we can try to get that C to like an S or maybe just an A or something better than a C, you know what I mean? Like, look, here's three of them right there. That puts us at 19 talent tokens. It's gonna cost me eight per spin, so I'm gonna try to get to like maybe 32. That'll be four spins, and hopefully that'll be enough. But uh, let's go into a quick little time lapse, and we'll be right back. All right, and to end it up right there, look, we got a golden one. When you find a golden one, they usually spawn in three. So you find one right there, and you gotta keep looking around because there should be two more spawns that'll give you guys a golden spirit. Um, it's very hard to find the golden spirit, guys, though. So look, there's the second one, and now the next one should be another golden spirit that we find wherever they're hiding, but they give you five as opposed to three tokens, which is really good and helps you guys when re-rolling those uh, stat machine, I guess, or whatever that the talent is called. Uh, it's literally just called talent, but yeah. All right, let's see. Let's find this third and last golden kitty and then we should be able to go back and re-roll on our Gojo's talent and maybe make him into an S unit. That'll make him nice strongest unit in the game, especially if I can roll a good passive for him. Now, where is this last one? Oh, there it is in the same spot again. Boom, all we had to do was run around. Oh, that one even gave me 15 and we're up to 68 of those tokens. That is way more than I was expecting to get, but uh, let's go back to that main world now, Champion City. And in Champion City, we're gonna go to the talent machine and we're gonna try to get Gojo the best talent. So here's our Gojo right there, select him. I'm gonna lock these three because these are already decently high and let's see if I can beat this 45 or C. 22, that's worse. 65, a little better. 33 is worse. Ah, that's good. That's 50% to the max, so it's good. I'm gonna leave it like that, because that's good enough for me right now. I don't wanna push my limits, and I don't have many more. I only have 36 talent tokens left, but like, I could. I really could try to get something better. I'm not going to. I should, but I won't. Makes sense? Yeah, I, I mean, I have these Jotaro's that I can try to work on. Just for fun, let's do it once, ready? C, B, B, and C. Oh, that could've been great. A, nah. Really what you guys gotta do is try to get like like that right there and then you'll lock it. But you gotta be careful because it becomes more expensive the more you do it. So you don't wanna just keep locking everything as soon as you see it because then you gotta go find some more. But oh my gosh, we literally got a perfect roll on our Jotaro's damage. So we're definitely gonna leave him the way he is right there. 100% damage. Speed's okay, crit damage needs to be high, and then ability damage also helps. But there we go. Honestly, I might have to ascend that Jotaro next because him being at that stage right there is insane. It's gonna help out our team quite a bit um, if I ascend him twice. The only, oh, I have enough. The only issue I have now is that I don't have enough units to sacrifice to get him to ascend it to. But anyways, let's end this video by getting this Jotaro who has 3.1 million damage, some better stats here. So let's get him some quirks. Uh, select. Usually what I would do for a damage team, I would go Sniper, I would go Assassin, Black Hole, and then Giant. Those are the ones I'd wanna focus on. If you really want a quick and easy one, you can also select Strong 3, because usually that one shows up relatively quickly. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into another quick little time lapse here. We'll see what we can get for our stats on our Jotaro, or Jotaro, wow, our Gojo. And then we'll just see how much stronger he is than my Ascended to uh, Giyu. But uh, yeah, one final time lapse, go. There's our first one, strong three. Let's see, we went from 3.1 million to 3.3 million. And now we gotta get a second quirk on our Gojo. For the time being, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, you can roll a double quirk, but 
yeah, let's see if I can get something better. I don't want to make this video too, too long because sometimes it'll take my entire black hole. It'll take all my curse medals and I still will not get anything good. So we'll just settle with what we get here and we'll see how strong Gojo is. That took so long for me to get this sniper, guys. It almost took me over a thousand, actually it did take me over a thousand rolls, but now my Gojo went to 3.8 million damage. Now I do have a red ski that has 4.1 million damage, but he also has giant, which is better than superior three. And then he also does have, uh, well, I guess the damage is technically not really, uh, Gojo has more damage. But what I'm gonna do finally in order to make Gojo a little bit stronger is equip him with a better passive here. Let's just equip him with something that increases my damage. Uh, increases damage by 20%. And that's probably gonna be the best thing I got. Damage at 20% and crit chance by 6%. Now let's give him this perfection here to Gojo. And now our Gojo's damage is going to be, okay, Gojo looks at 4.3 million damage. He literally looks like All Might, but make him uh, Gojo. Yes, guys, he is now the strongest unit in my inventory. I do have to go get myself a copy of the Gojo Cosmic skin. And then like this Cosmic skin, yeah, boss damage to 6% is really good, but I can also try to get like a different passive and make him even stronger. But for now, my Gojo is gonna be like that. I'll definitely reroll Satir 3 off of him very, very soon. But um, yeah, I'll show you one last thing, which is gonna be how to get this God of the Cosmic skin. Super easy. While you're here in the main mode, you're gonna go over here to the raids. And in the raid, you're gonna go do the new raid. Let me go ahead and equip my best team here. Uh, set by damage. We're gonna have Sakuna on our team. We're gonna have, let's see, mm, Black Hole. I got a Black Hole unit, guys. I got my first Black Hole unit, uh, Zenitsu unit there. And then we're gonna get this Drops unit guy. And then just for like the extra harmony, is gonna be uh, Jotaro there with Time Breaker. I'll probably have to level him up and I'll probably end up ascending him a little bit too, but we'll have to wait and see what we're gonna do. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six units equipped. And then for my last unit, I'm gonna use a uh, Swordsman that does 3.87 million damage. Like he doesn't need even my team, but he's here for the damage boost that I get from Harmony 3. But let's go ahead and go into this. You're gonna go to Curse City, select easy guys. Easy, medium, hard, they're all gonna be the same drop chance, it feels like. Um, so it's a lot quicker, as you guys can see, to finish an easy mode than it is to finish a hard mode. And it's just gonna save you guys more time. You'll be able to do more of these runs if you guys just do the easy. Look, boom, that boss right there is dead. I'm getting some drops as well from doing it. I got dropped into the water is when I'm getting dropped. Oh yeah, that's where I just die. <laughs> Look at Sakuna just looking at me menacingly right there. But uh, yeah, we're back at the start. Uh, if you don't mess up like I did right there, this is gonna be a lot faster to do than uh, doing a hard mode. But one, two, jump, jump, jump. It does kind of suck not having a ton of uh, extra jumps and like dashes and everything. It makes things a lot slower. So I definitely suggest you guys try to focus on getting these right here, these tokens that are gonna give you guys more movement. It's gonna help you guys out a ton. This is where the secret boss is. The first time I tried this, there wasn't actually a secret location here for a secret chest, but look, there's the chest. This chest, oh God, no, no, no! Why is everything going wrong for me? I'm back at the start again. This is why I hate all these. I'm A, not good at them, and B, they're always so bad because I'm not good at them, but. You guys saw that chest back there. That chest does have the potential to spawn us the new Gojo skin, which A, makes him stronger, and B, makes him look so much cooler than this Gojo here. Uh, let's do one, two. We'll do one, dash, dash, dash. We'll do one, and there we go. What do we get from that one? Gojo skin? Uh, no, we got a chopper hat, which we'll take a look at it in a little bit. We'll probably just end up selling it because I have no reason for the chop, no reason to use the chopper hat. Currently, oh my gosh, I hate all these. And then finally we go to the boss fight with doing it on easy, the boss fight super easy. Look, boss is dead. We're gonna go ahead and open our two chests. Our first chest is gonna give us something. Oh, it's a green backpack. And then our second chest is gonna give us Gojo. We got a, oh, we got like five different items from that one. Holy smokes, we got ourselves, uh, 
let's see, we got ourselves a beard, we got ourselves these glasses, and we got ourselves a couple weapons, like this one here, and so on and so forth. But that's it, guys. That's what I got for 48 hours of grinding. Pretty cool. My team is super strong. For now, that's it. I gotta go to sleep. I'll see you guys later. Reese's Deezes. Bye!